Hey folks, welcome back to the Tech Blackboard and in this episode, we are going to talk about Microsoft Azure Tags, a wonderful tool that will help you to manage Azure costs in the most efficient and no-nonsense way. And yes, it is absolutely free, a dream tool for any solution architect. And after watching this episode of Azure Fundamental Series, you will be able to answer the following questions. What are tags? Why they are needed? And then we will talk about their benefits and use cases. And post that, we will understand how the Azure tags help in cost management. And towards the end of this episode, I will share some interesting facts about Azure tags. So watch the video till the very end and let's get started. Okay, so before I begin, I just want to thank one of our viewers, Rob Grimaldi, for correctly pointing out that we missed to cover a couple of sections. For example, describe Azure Storage Services and describe Azure Identity, Access and Security. I will start covering them post Azure Tags. But for now, let's begin with understanding what are Azure Tags. So friends, you can consider or assume Azure Tags just like labels or sticky notes for your Azure resources. And you can use the Azure Tags to organize, manage and categorize the resources in the way that makes sense for your specific needs. Just as you might label the different items in your kitchen to make them easy to find or categorize, you can use the Azure Tags to organize your resources in the Azure Cloud. And also a very important and key concept about Azure Tags is that Azure Tags are metadata that consists of key value pair to describe or identify a particular resource in your cloud environment. So these key value pairs help you identify the resources based on the settings that are relevant to your organization. And we will understand this concept in a little bit more detail in the upcoming slides. And also by the use of tags, you can keep a track of what are the resources available to you and what is the location of these resources. And how can you do that? Well, you can do that by organizing the resources based on the criteria such as who created them, or maybe the environment they reside, or maybe what is the purpose of the resource or any other criteria. And in this way, you can quickly filter, query, retrieve, or analyze your Azure resources and keep a track of their cost. Now let's take an example to understand this concept in a little bit more detail. So assume that you have two Azure virtual machines. Now one of the virtual machine is in the test environment while the other one is in the production environment. Now as an Azure administrator, you want to keep a track of all your deployment environments for all the virtual machines that you have and the optimized way to do this is to add a tag named environment. So you can just add a tag, a key value pair, something like environment equals to test and environment equals to production. And this will really help you identify which Azure virtual machine resides in which location or which environment. Now, before we talk about in a little bit more detail why we need Azure tags, let's quickly check how can you actually add tags to any Azure resource. Okay, so now you can see I'm in the Azure portal already logged in. So what we are going to achieve in this Azure lab is that we create some Azure resource and learn how can we assign tags to it. Now for the demo purpose, I will create a storage account and how can we assign tags to it. But then the process to assign the Azure tags to any Azure resource is exactly the same as we are going to follow for this storage account. So you can just learn the process here and assign it to any Azure resource. Now click on this storage account. Here we go. So now we click on this create option. And then we get this window to create the storage account. Here you can see my subscription is already selected. Now I have to select the resource group. Here you can see I do not have any resource group as of now. So let me do one thing. I will create a new resource group. So here I have to give the name of the resource group. So here is my name. I will select OK. So now you can see I have to give a name to my storage account as well. And this is my storage account name. I will leave the region as it is. I do not want to change anything here. Let's move ahead. We will go next. So now we are in the advanced option. We do not have to change anything here as well for the demo purposes. Go next, next. And now we are in the data encryption. Once again, go next. And finally, one more next. And now we have reached to the tag section. So friends, as you can see in this window, the Azure tags are just like key value pair as I mentioned earlier as well. So here we have to assign the key. Now let's say that we want to identify that this storage account pertains to the production environment. 
so what we can do is i will say environment so now this environment which is under the name section this is my key and what is the value i will say production so i will enter production here and this will help me identify that this storage account pertains to the production environment similarly if you want to give more tags you can give let's say that this storage account will be used by the finance department so here you can add another tag you can say department and then you can just put the value here and you will say finance so now we have two tags here one identifies the environment of the resource and another one identifies which department will be using this resource similarly if you want to add more resources you can go ahead there is no problem in that and yes there is a limit to how many tags you can assign to an azure resource and that i will tell you in the faq or the facts about the azure tags in the later part of this video and also my friends one more important point for now you are seeing the process of how to assign the tags when you are creating the resource but please remember you can assign the tags to the already created resource as well and not only that you can also change the tags for any resources whether you are creating it just now or maybe for the resources that are already created and one more very important point here let's say that you are azure administrator and looking at the importance and criticality of tags you want to make sure that all of your resources should have tags so how can you do that well as a azure administrator you can use the azure policies and enforce that any azure resource that gets created by anyone in your team any department must have some tags because that's the only way you can ensure that all of your resources have tags so i hope you got the gist azure policy is something that you can use to enforce azure tags while creating any resource for now let's move ahead here we are now in the review stage let's say review and you can see that azure will do some final validations and now you can see that this create option is now enabled let's say create and now you can see that we have some initializing the deployment submitting the deployment And now the deployment is in progress and you can see it here deployment is in the progress now let's wait a couple of minutes before this storage account is fully deployed and here it goes i think this storage account is now deployed so now you can go to the azure resource here it goes now we are in the storage account so are you able to find or spot the tags well they are here you can see this tag option here let me zoom a little i hope you can see it now so here you can see we have tags and the two tags that we gave one for the identification of the environment and another for the department so here you can see that we have both the tags and this is how you can assign tags to any azure resource and yes one quick pro tip from my side so once you've finished the azure lab do not forget to delete the azure resource or maybe the best practice is that you can delete the entire resource group so that all the resources under that resource group are automatically deleted let me show you that process here you can go to the azure resource group here on the left hand side you can see here so now you can see that this was the resource group that we created for the storage account click on this so once you click on the resource group you get this option delete the resource group click on that option and once you click on this you get the option here so here you can see if you go to the bottom of the window you get this option here which says enter the resource group name to confirm deletion at that resource group name you can also get it from here you can see this here resource group to be deleted just copy it from here and then you can paste it here just paste it and say delete now the deletion process is in progress and you can take a sigh of relief that you won't be charged anything extra and now let's go back to the presentation and now it's time for us to understand why do we need azure tags and as i said earlier as well tags are just like organizational labels for your azure cloud resources designed to simplify governance financial management and operational costs but let's break down and understand complete details so here you can see first of all we have manage resources now imagine that your cloud environment is just like a massive warehouse filled with all sort of items now you can think naming and tagging as creating clear labels for each item and this process of naming and tagging is just like neatly organizing your stuff so that you can find the right tool or the toy in seconds and whenever your IT team wants they can quickly locate the resources associated with specific teams or tasks or environments and this makes the life of IT teams and Azure admins a little easier 
and then we have manage and optimize cost. Well, we all know and we cannot agree more on the importance of keeping track of all our spendings. We all have budgets, whether it's our house or our company and well in cloud, it's no different. So friends, Azure tags that are related to the cost supports the following information. At number one, we have cloud accounting models. Number two, return on investment calculation. Number three, cost tracking. Then we have budgets. Number five, alerts. Number six, recurring spend tracking and reporting. Number seven, post implementation optimization. And then finally, at number eight, strategies around cost optimization. Now, the third important point: Why do we need tags? Is smooth operations. So, running a business is just like juggling a bunch of balls. Managing operations well requires tagging for mission criticality. And then I just mentioned budgeting. So once the resources are tagged, you can set up the budget based on these tabs. For example, you can create a budget for the marketing department and another one for the finance department. And then what will happen is that Azure will keep a track of spending against these budgets and send the notifications when the spending approaches predefined thresholds. And this enables proactive cost management. Now, friends, in order to keep the video short and crisp, these are the only points that we will discuss today. But there are plenty of more good reasons why should we use tags. And that's why, my friends, to extend your knowledge, I have written an entire blog on this topic. And in this blog, in addition to give you more details on why should we use tags, I have given plenty of good practices and also different ways in which you can use Azure tags. The link for the blog is now flashing on your screen. Please read the same and take your understanding on Azure tags on a different level. So until now we have understood what are Azure tags, why these tags are needed, what are their benefits, what are their use cases, and we also understood how the Azure tags can help in cost management. And now, as promised, let me give you some cool facts about Azure tags. So first of all, you can assign multiple tags to single Azure resource that I showed you in the demo as well. And the next cool fact is that you can assign maximum of 50 Azure tags to any resource. And not to forget, you can assign the tags on three levels, resource level, resource group level and subscription level. And the related cool but very important fact is that the Azure tags are not inherited. And that means if you assign the tags on the resource group level or on the subscription level, these tags will not be inherited at a lower level. So for example, you assign the tags on the resource group level. Now these tags will not be inherited by the resources under that resource group. And now at number five, the tag name can have 500 12 characters while the value the value can have 256 characters and yes azure tags do not apply to the classic resources and also take care azure tags cannot contain any of these special characters and the last cool fact about azure tags is that you are limited to 15 tags on the following azure resources azure content delivery network azure automation azure log analytics save search and lastly azure dns so friends, in a nutshell, Azure tags are just like naming and tagging, just like the way you use posted or sticky notes in your daily life. And Azure tags can help you find resources, organize them, and most importantly, keep an eye on your spending and achieve a better cost management. And friends, more resources, documentation, and study material for your self-study is shared in the description box. And please do check out our blogs. We keep updating more and more content on Azure and AWS. And a humble request, if this video has added any value, even the smallest one, please give this video a thumbs up. That's the only way for us to expand and reach more audience. And it really motivates us and help us understand whether you're liking the content or not. So please like the video, subscribe, press that bell icon for more cloud learning. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.